Hey, what's going on my Filmorians? Today I want to take a look at the new Filmora 11, see if it's worth it, see what's new in it, see if it's cool or not. Uh, so let's get right into it. First of all, I'm going to say yes, of course it's worth it. If you already own Filmora 10, bump up to Filmora 11. There's some cool features in it that I think you'll like. Um, the other thing is um, I, I, I waited a little bit to get it. I don't like downloading softwares when they're in their beta testing because they're usually not as good. I like it when they become the master beta and um, every all the bugs are worked out and everything. So I waited for a little bit. All the bugs should be worked out. So let's get into it and see what we got here. I have a little bit of footage that I have put in here just to play around with and show you some things it may not necessarily be the greatest footage for what I'm going to show you but it's what I got right now um, and then you can kind of see what to do so the first thing that I want to show you that I think is awesome is the speed ramping um, they have changed the way they do speed ramping in this and I actually like it quite a bit and I'm quite excited about it so just bring your footage in here. It's better if your footage is like 60 frames a second or higher for speed ramping. I unfortunately have 23.976, so 24 frames a second um, footage, unfortunately, but you'll still get the idea and you'll get the point of what this looks like. So you have your footage in here, you wanna speed ramp, you go to your speed button, you go to speed ramping, and look at here you can customize it so that can be like okay you want it to start off slow but let's make it get a little faster and let's slow it down quite a bit more near the end so you go on that you see it slows right down and then it'll pick up and then slows down again so once again that footage may not be the greatest for this but you get an idea and it's way smoother than it used to be in the old way of doing speed ramping in this which was next to impossible um, i'm pretty excited about this feature being added so another way to get to the speed ramping is go to your diamond with the plus sign and you can come in here, you have your animation, your speed, color, blah, blah, blah. So we go to speed and it takes you into this as well. So montage, if you're doing a Rocky video, bam, it starts off, it speeds up right away and then slows down and then goes back to normal. So it's kind of cool if that's something that you're into. So the bullet time's kind of cool. That's like the matrix effect where it was like normal and then he does the bullets going past him slow motion and then bam, right back into the fast motion. So it's kind of cool and I love how they um, have added these in here. I guess hero movie would essentially be the same idea. Um, so if it's an action scene that speeds up and goes really slow into the slow motion, so this would be something like Leonidas is standing by the pit and he's just like something insult our women, blah, 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 for Sparta. And then what's his face is like, oh my God, I'm falling into a hole. Oh my God, no, a hole. Uh. And then it goes back into normal. It speeds up again and then goes back into normal. That's what's kind of cool about that. Um, it's pretty awesome i i love the fact that they've added this type of speed ramp into filmora it just um it changes it so much another thing that they have done is they said the masking is a little bit better but i'm gonna be honest it's not that good i'm not i'm not that big of a fan of the masking in this to be to be perfectly honest but uh they've added it so let's go you click on that you go to video you go to mask and you have you can import so if you have your own masks if you know whatever that you're gonna mask then you can import it I don't know I honestly don't know how you would do that part but um, so you have your double line mask or your single line mask so double line is it's literally like what it says if you want to do something like this um, let's say you just bring it down so it's non-existent so hit add to start 
and make the width go down to nothing. So then you hit add and then you go along to your next point and you make the width a little more and then you go along to your next point and you make your width a bit more and then you go along and we more and then you go along and we fix more and then you go along and we fix a little more and then, the same point there, please. And then bam you finish it off and uh, play it along it'll look like this It's not the most amazing mask by any means, but you get the idea of uh, how you can mask things. So this will look really stupid, but you're kind of going along and the scene's like chasing you and oh, get out of here, get out of here. But you get the idea, um, you know, you can play around with that. The one line thing is, is okay. I kind of wish that you could manipulate the line a little bit more so you could build it around your person right so it would be nice if you were able to as we get along here if it was just able to follow my body around here instead of you know it being such a straight line and i i don't see any any way around that yes so silence detection so this is when you are not talking in your video. It will, that little pause that I did there, if you're doing that in your video, it'll detect it and it'll, and it will cut on it. So we're going to take a look at that right now and see what it does. Let's go. Oh yeah. So it just says here, click start. Okay. So click start. It's now chopped up these parts here that you see. So let's say export to timeline. Bam, it automatically does it. So then it just goes through. Quimper, here I'm uh, Maybe it's Mount Quimby, I'm not sure. It's for a fire lookout, I'm guessing, because BC doesn't have... See, so then it automatically cuts it. And this is good if you're doing like um, talking head tutorials, because what you can do if it's a talking head tutorial, you're just sitting there you're not walking like I am in this one. You can just go like this. You can go up to your um, crop and zoom and you just kind of zoom in like that. And it, it just makes it a little bit. Because BC doesn't have many fires anymore. It makes the jump cut a little more bearable to have it go from that and then to more because of technological that, advancement. Right? Like, um, it's it's less abrasive is what I'm saying uh, for a cut so if you're doing talking head tutorials if you're like Daniel Battelle or Nick Nimmin or Brian G Johnson if you're doing those types of videos that's really a good tool to have because you can cut on those points and if you didn't say the right thing you can still cut and then then kind of crop and zoom in on that so the other thing that they added was you know you got some new audio you got some new titles what's new um yeah you got some cool titles here you got this guy so you you know you click on that double click i want this one though and then you just kind of highlight it and you go you put just a little subtle word in there that you should be doing. Subscribe. Where, where? The whole world should be subscribing to my channel. That's what I'm saying with this title. But that's kind of, you know, that's tightly, you know, it's nothing new. It's just, it's a new title. Um, some new transitions that are kind of silly. Um, but, they, you know, I shouldn't say they're silly. They're actually good for, like, tutorials and gaming and stuff like that. Um, this one kind of looks like bacon, so now I'm hungry and we'll get going here soon. Um, some new elements. Um, there's, if you like, sci-fi stuff. If you're a sci-fi person, that's kind of neat. But that's basically about it. The biggest thing that I really enjoy about this is the uh, speed ramping, the the customizing speed ramp. I think it's absolutely amazing that they added that in there. Maybe some people like it. Maybe some people don't like it. I think the way they did it is awesome. I think that's 
something that they should have done a long time ago. They didn't. However, they listened to us, made it better. Let's get on their case about the masking now. They do like to listen to us. You got to give them Fillmore credit for that. They like to listen. But, uh, anyways, Fillmore 11, I think is absolutely incredible. I think it's great. Go go right now and download it. If you haven't bought it, go buy it. This is not a sponsored video by them. I did have sponsored videos by them. I will say that in the past, but this one is not. I just wanted to try it out and show you what we're working with here. So uh, I hope you like this. If you do, if you want more uh, filmmaking and editing and um, adventures and things, tutorials and just adventures and things, then subscribe. And uh, yeah, don't forget to get out for adventures and things or make some films and do some editing and film more and just subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, well, see you later.